It's 2015. My alarm goes off. I wake up at 5 a.m. every single day. I cannot stress enough how much of a night owl I am. I only slept for three hours. Doesn't matter, I have to go to work. I pull myself out of bed, I dress up, I brush my teeth, I wash my face, and in 10 minutes I'm out. I have to catch the bus. The bus comes, I go upstairs in the double-decker bus from London, the red one. It's freezing cold outside, it's rainy, it's one of those typical British autumn days or mornings. I sit in the bus for like 45 minutes, one hour. I listen to a podcast, I see a homeless guy chilling behind me. He smells like, like a donkey. Anyway, I have to deal with it, right? I cannot really complain about it. I arrive to work, it's 6 a.m. now. I prepare the coffee shop and whatnot. Jesus, I literally wasted an hour of my life. Then my shift ends at around 2 p.m., something like that, 3 p.m. Again, I run to chase the bus. I catch the bus. Now the bus is crowded. Everyone goes in the same direction as me, apparently, towards Thornton Heath. So I squeeze in like a sardine and I put my headphones in and I'm trying to listen to another coding podcast just to squeeze a bit more knowledge out of this time that I'm spending doing nothing. You know, some people are listening to music, some people are complaining about something. One of the benefits of being a programmer is that you don't have to commute anymore. Like the freedom of not having to commute somewhere. Once you taste that freedom, once you realize that you can do the same work from home, you cannot go back to the regular life. I could live with less money. I could live with, with crazier hours, you know? But if I know that I can be anywhere and do my job, then I would die happy. I was spending maybe 40 hours a week commuting. So that's like a full week's worth of pay that I was spending doing nothing. So in reality, even though I was working eight hours, if you add two hours for the commute time and let's say 30 minutes before that to prepare yourself and then another hour to unwind, you are losing what? Three hours and a half per day for work, hours that you are not paid. You can sleep with your laptop next to you and when you have the stand-up call in the morning, you just open your laptop, log into your application, go on Zoom or on Teams start chatting with people. I think it was 2016 and I was out with a friend in a park next to my house in, in a rough area of London. And uh, we were talking about some bullshit. Two guys come up to us, you know, they had the, like the ski mask, right? They came with the ski mask and they pulled the machete and they said, give us everything. Otherwise, you know what's gonna happen. So I was like, you know, I kind of saw my life leaving my body, if that makes sense. It was the craziest moment in my life. I come from Romania, a country where violence like this doesn't happen, you know what I mean? And I am there in the worst neighborhood of London, one of the worst neighborhoods of London, Thornton Heath, Croydon. And these guys want to take everything from me. They didn't take anything from me because I had an iPhone and you cannot steal an iPhone. I mean, you can steal it, but you can lock it and it's worthless, right? And uh, I had a pair of keys. So there is nothing to, to steal from. Funny enough, uh, they saw a guy that was jogging and they started chasing the guy that was jogging with a machete. The next benefit that comes with a programming job is that you get paid more, okay? And needless to say, as soon as I got my programming job, I think one month after I got it, I moved the hell out. And I moved to a better neighborhood. Totally different vibe. It's like my life changed by 180 degrees by being able to afford a better place. So I moved out and then another benefit that comes with making more money, which is something that people are kind of shy to talk about. Like really, if you, if you come from a job where you make 40K, 60K, there's nothing wrong with wanting to make 100, 120, uh, again, if you are putting in the work and if you are smart about it, okay? If you make more money, you can live in a better place. You can afford a better lifestyle, right? If you wanna go out more, like how can you do that if you make less money? You can afford better food. So when I was a barista, I was eating my lunch at work, the one that was given by, by the company and I'm very grateful for it. Right now, what I'm eating, just to give you an example is I have a meal prep company that delivers food for me with the exact calories I need to get in shape with the right amount of carbs, proteins and fats. So because I have more money, I can develop myself in a better way. I, I think this is obvious, but people are not, not really talking about this. Once you solve all your money issues, you'll only have money problems. I go to the gym, that's expensive. I have this food meal prep 
company that costs some money right it's just a bit more over if i would do the regular shopping and whatnot but it saves me time headaches i don't need to clean i don't need to cook i don't need to store it i don't need to go and buy it it saves me so much time i save so much time imagine if you'd have an extra 30 hours per week what would you do you could study more to become a better programmer if you have kids you could spend time that time with your kids if you'd be healthier well you'd have more energy to make more money you'll have more energy to spend it with your kids you'll have more energy to travel live your life to the fullest and so on and so forth money is going to fix a bunch of things it's not going to fix everything and you're not going to become a millionaire as a coder i hope that's obvious but if you go from 60 to 120 or 60 to 150 or 60 to 200 these are the types of salaries you can and you should expect from a coding job especially if you're in the us Maybe not today, but in six months time, in one year's time, things will come back to normal, obviously. Another thing that uh, programming helped me with is having more relationships. It opens up dating opportunities. Imagine this, a broke barista. I mean, I can only date baristas and that's fine if you're interested in that. But if you want a girl that's, you know, more higher level and whatnot, you'd have to make more money. It's going to help you buy better clothes. It's going to help you improve your fitness if you have more time you can go to the gym if you have more time you can take care of your diet if you have more time you'll be less stressed if you are less stressed you're happier if you're happier then you can perform better everywhere so it's like an upwards spiral that you can actually ride if you start traveling and whatnot you become more cultured then you meet a girl there a girl there so that's how it was for me once i became a programmer i was like unleashed you know it was probably it was more like a mental thing than anything but i'm pretty sure that having a bit more cash in the bank account was giving me a bit more confidence and that allowed me to you know meet different people in different countries and also it helped me travel right before programming i was traveling once a year and i was going back home just to see my parents i ended up last year traveling like at least once a month to a new place seeing all these new cultures and changing the environment like for example right now i'm in poland and it's depressing as hell i still have some work to do and i want to be focused here but once i finished my work probably in november and december i'm gonna book a place in a hot environment i don't know either dubai or something like that or bali just because i can i have also students that do that all the time i have a student that specifically has been this summer and lived all over europe and now he's moving to south america i know another guy who makes his money here in warsaw in poland but he lives in south america and he's either in mexico mexico is not technically south america or whatever either mexico or brazil and he's just living the life coding opens up all this doors for you these are the three areas that i find the most impactful and that's why i mentioned them and i'm pretty sure there are other areas that you might be interested in and uh, the reason why i made this video is because in my community in my coaching program one of my students asked hey why are you coding what are you coding for and i saw the answers there and that inspired me to make my own video so my question for you is why are you coding why are you spending all this time trying to learn this skill? What is out there for you once you learn it? Curious to see what your answers are. So drop them in the comments and um, let us all know. If you wanna see my community and whatnot, that's the second link in the description. And uh, if you wanna be part of my coaching program, that's the first link in the description. I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.